Hi, today on the Slide Lens, we're going to review Savage's new Cobra lighting kit. It's a great interview lighting kit you can take on location. Get over to thestlinelens.com and sign up for our giveaway today. We've got a Spider 5 Studio package from Data Color. We've got one of our business coaching classes. We're gonna give you a slot in our class. Come and join us and build your business. And last of all, one of my favorite cases, the 2011 from SKB. So go to thestlinelens.com and sign up today. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slide Lens, we're gonna review a new product from Savage called the Cobra Lighting Kit. It's a three light interview lighting kit. Now I've used their seamlesses forever. I've used Savage seamlesses forever. Always been a great product, always been great to have on set. But let's look at their LEDs. What they've done is they've taken three of their Luminous Pro LEDs and they put them into a three light lighting kit. So let's break this kit down and see what it includes. We've got three of their Luminous Pro LED lights. We've got three of their drop stands. We've got three of the Sony F750 uh, batteries, which is a great power source for these lights. We've got charging cables to be able to charge them up. And then we've got a flexible arm, 40 inch flexible arm with a counterbalance and a great super clamp that gives you the ability to boom a light and we're going to show a little bit how that works as well and last of all they've also got a little clip that will clip these lights together if you want to make them into a bank of two or three all of this goes into a great case you can roll that out on location it's just a great video interview kit so first off the most important thing is the led i mean that's really what this is all about the stands and everything else are great and they're great here great support to the led but the led is what's important this is a great LED. It's lightweight. It's got that chip on board technology, which makes them a little lighter, a little less expensive, and great lights. So these are variable color LED. You can go from 3200, which is tungsten, to 5600, which is daylight. So a variable color allows this interview kit to be used in a lot of different lighting situations, and that's really important. They also have a dimmer on the back, which is really essential to be able to give you the ability to make your light a little brighter, a little darker. They have a 90 CRI index, which means the color is clean. Uh, they have about 1,440 lumens at about 3 feet or 1 meter. I mean, that's pretty close. You're going to use these usually a little further back than 3 feet. It's going to be more in the 4 to 5 foot range. These run on a Sony NPF750 battery, which is very standard. I mean, a lot of people use these in their kits. Uh, you get about 3 hours of life from this one battery. So if you're shooting throughout the day, if you have a couple of batteries, you can go for a long time with this. 3 hours is a really good time. Now, if you're in the studio, if you're in a situation where you're close to power, you have the ability to plug them in and to run them on AC, which is really nice. But for me, I almost always use uh, batteries because it's just easier to get them in, do your work, and move to the next shot. I just love battery-operated LEDs, and these are great in that way. It's a nice size panel, so it's going to give me a little softer light on people's light face and kind of open up the area in front of me. On the points, it has four different points on the back of it, and each one of those points allows you to connect these uh, with the bracket that comes with it, with the cold shoe bracket, or you can take one of these small brackets here and that hooks onto the side and now you can hook these together in a panel of three or two uh, either vertically or horizontally because I've got these attachment points on all four points which is really nice gives you a lot of options so if I want to put this on a post I can just simply screw this into the bottom and it goes right on my light stand without any problem if I want to put this on the camera each one of these lighting brackets has got a cold shoe on it so I can put that on the camera becomes a great interview or kind of a an event light if you're going to be out working an event doing bts gives you a little something to open up the uh, shadows kind of open up the light a little bit or to do a quick interview if you're just going to get this into someone's face to a quick interview that's a great use for this light it's lightweight enough that, that works really well that way i don't feel like i'm dealing with a lot of weight uh, it's really great if you're working in more of an intimate lighting situation you can get these in very close uh, you get 2.8 at 640, which is about at 3 feet from your subject matter, which is really nice. You can get your rim light in there and give you a nice rim from behind or a hair light. And then you've got one you can turn, dial it down, and give you a little bit of fill from the front. So it's a nice interview kit. So there's the LEDs. I think they really are. This is a great LED for starting out because it has multi-purpose. You can use it on your camera in a kind of a situation where you're running and gunning and just interviewing and doing an event, or you can use them as a three lights uh, interview setup where you can set your lights and be able to get your interview. And so in that way, it's very good. If you're a YouTube channel, this would be fabulous. Um, you're not going to overpower the sun with these. It's just not what they're made for, but you'll give a nice little highlight with the sun in the shade. So there's the light, but let's look at some of the other interesting things in this LED kit. First off, the stands, I was shocked at how great these stands were. At this price point, I did not expect a stand that was this good in this kit, but this is a fabulous stand. 
Uh, there's three of them in the kit. Uh, once you set it up, you simply drop the legs down to their point and tighten it. It now is what you call a drop stand. And let me show you exactly what that means. When you've got it set up, if you pick this up, the legs just automatically collapse. And when you put it back down, you just push it down and it sets itself back up again. So with one hand, you can pick this up, move your light around, set it back down, and you're back and ready to go. That's a fabulous thing. It's a seven foot stand, so it goes up nice and tall. It's way strong enough to handle these lights and much, much more. But because of their strength, it allows you to use some accessories and one of them they included with this kit. It's a 40 inch flexible arm. It's got a quarter 20 on the end of it, so your quarter 20 post just simply goes into it. Then this goes into the top of the stand. It now gives you the ability to flex this out and to put your light on the end of it because it's got a cold shoe. So you hook your light on the end of it, get it out over your subject matter because you're battery operated. You don't have to worry about running cables and everything. Get that out there. It gives you a great hair light, rim light from behind. It's fabulous. To counterbalance this so you don't have to carry a sandbag, they've got a post with a super clamp and that becomes your counterbalance. It's a one pound counterbalance. So it's fabulous. Gives you the ability to get your light out there. I mean, I don't always put my light from the side. Sometimes it looks very pretty to put it in front in a butterfly. So this would be fabulous for a butterfly. Fly it over the camera and be able to get it in close to the person and light their face and it'd be a great light. The nice thing about these clips is when you clip three of these together in a horizontal fashion, you now can bend these in so that that light becomes a little more focused or you can bend them out, which gives a little broader look, which is really interesting because you can now start to shape the light by bending them in and pulling them out to kind of give you a focus. So a little more intensity, bend them in. A little broader, a little softer, uh, bend them out. So all of this fits comfortably into this wonderful carrying case. It's got wheels on it so you can roll it onto location. It really is a one-man band is a great way to work. You've got all of your lights and your stands and your accessories all into one case. Roll it on location and you're ready to go. When I put all this stuff back in the case, there was plenty of room for me to include some other things in there. If I want some other accessories like a piece of gel or clothespins, anything like that, there's plenty of room for that in the case. And the case is very sturdy. It's a great case. So there we have it. Three of everything. Three stands, three lights, three chargers, three AC adapters, two of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Three of everything. So check this kit out. I think Savage has done a fabulous job putting this kit together to solve the problems you're going to need to be able to overcome when you're doing interview lighting, when you're doing those kinds of event things. So get out there and check it out. Keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. If you have ever been interested in stop motion photography, then I've got the perfect thing for you. Trisha Zemp teamed up with us to create a download called Stop Motion Basics for Beginners. Get over to thuslandlens.com, get your download today, it'll answer all your questions. Subscribe to The Slanted Lens, like all my buddies here did. You can come and hang out with us. We have a wild time together, me and my buddies here, my mannequin buddies. We have a great time together. So come and join The Slanted Lens, subscribe. You can be friends with us too.